What is going on, peoples of the internet? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get 10-bit out of the iPhone 12 and convert it to an Aria Alexa and pretty much give you more latitude in post-production. So I know it shoots HDR, Dolby Vision profile, but I'm not really too crazy about that because that's baked in and that's actually what you're looking at right now. Now, first things first, obviously I made a video on how you can get the 10-bit file out of the phone to your computer if you're using Windows. So check it out, it's gonna be in the top right corner. And we have two clips right here shot with the iPhone 12. And if we go to the metadata, you're gonna see that this is 10-bit. Uh, both of these are 10-bit and this is what I'm kind of more excited about than the Dolby Vision crap that they're trying to sell. So we are here in the Vince Resolve and I'm just gonna show you guys how you can get more latitude and get a flat look out of this since it's the standard Dolby Vision is really not flat. It's actually meant for, uh, you know, plugging in and actually showing on a television straight from your devices. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and open some nodes up. And uh, so you can see right here, we'll start with this footage right, right here. Um, like I said, iPhone 12 uh, mini uh, shooting HDR 4K in the actual camera app itself. So what we're going to do first is open up open effects. We're going to go ahead and drop uh, color space transform. So we're going to leave input color space and input gamma. And we're going to put area Alexa and then area log C. We're pretty much converting that to a flat image, flat log style kind of deal. And after that, you can do a LUT to area rec 709. And just like that, I'm going to do alt one and we're going to do uh, turn it off pretty much. I'm going to remove all that. And we do Alt 2 before and after. So this is after and this is before. Okay. You can kind of see that it's a little bit nicer, a little bit nice highlights in there. And obviously, and what's really cool about having 10 bit is if I go here and I go to the HDR tab, I can actually see the shadow right here. I can get a little bit more of that. And if you see the shadows right there, I can maybe. I mean, there's still information there. You kind of see that lifting from the being clipped. So that's really cool. And additionally, if I go to the color wheels and I take down the highlights, it's pretty darn, it's pretty darn cool. So with the 10 bit file, you're actually able to move the pixels a little bit more than you would with the standard 8 bit. So I can actually probably turn this into an HDR footage, which I'm going to try later down the road. So as you can see, um, we're able to kind of manipulate this because it is 10 bit and I'm like I said I am more excited about this than I am excited about the built-in Dolby Vision so I'm gonna go right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and crush this all the way to like zero and I'm gonna go alt one and we're gonna go before and after before after you see that it's really it's really nice the contrast is it looks a little bit more natural now obviously the bit rate on the iPhone 12 mini is still pretty low. It's like 37 megabits a second for the 4K 24p. So, you know, it's it's not going to look like an Aria Alexa, if that's what you're asking or wondering about. So, you know, but it does give you a little bit more um, kind of like latitude to play around with the footage before, after, before, after. You kind of see that, that right there. And I'm going to zoom in here. You can see that. The contrast, and you can see that the contrast is just crazy with that standard profile. But by converting everything to log and then slapping RE Rec 709, you get a better starting point than trying to work with the Dolby Vision straight out of the camera. Let's go move on to the next clip. Similar situation here, but we do have some clouds. So this is what you get kind of straight out of the camera, straight out of the phone. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Color Space Transform, absolutely love this thing. CSD for short, if you guys were wondering. Airy Alexa. Airy Log C, boom, flat profile. And you can do manual tweaks here if you want. So if I go right here, uh, let's go ahead and convert it. Airy, Rec 709, Alt 3. And then I'm going to go delete that. I'm going to do Alt 4. So we're going to go after, before, before, after. Okay. Can I see that? It's pretty nice. And like I said, again, since it is 10 bit. I can manipulate this as well. And if you look at the highlights here uh, on the sky clouds here, let's see if we can pull it back by just going to the color wheels and just drop the shadow down. I don't think it's getting any more detail back, but that's not bad. And this clipped shadow right here, we can try and see if we can recover that. All right, so if we go to the shadow, so there is a little bit more information that you can 
It's kind of nice. One of the kind of cool things about shooting in 10-bit is you don't have to worry about blocking. You don't have to worry about banding. So this is, in a way, is a really good move for uh, iPhone or Apple because it's like, oh, crap, we're getting 10 bits in, in cell phones now. So that's really good news for videographers. Obviously, like I said, the bit rate is still pretty low. But as you can see, man, you have those details in the shadows. All right, guys, I am going to be doing a lot more videos. Uh, we shot a couple of stuff, a little bit more stuff for this scene and for this shoot. If you have questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.